Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 5 Top Plays. In today's episode we have a special. We're going to be taking a look at all of the best clips that I've had sent in since Battlefield 5 released. As you can tell from the clips in the background, these are the most epic Battlefield moments that have been sent in by the community. You've probably seen some of these before if you watch the show regularly, but for those that don't, it's a great chance to catch up on some of the most epic only in Battlefield moments that you'll have ever seen. Abo Hagas pulled off a very nice sniping feed that got accused of cheating by quite a few players, but if you watch it back slowly, you can tell that he's just very, very lucky with the first few kalats and then makes use of some good map knowledge to know that there might have been players peeking through that window in front of him. He goes back for a return shot and gets a few more kills to finish the clip off. Bravo Effect pulled off one of my favorite clips in the Battlefield 5 top plays as he gets a few kills with perfect accuracy on Twisted Steel. Arch has arguably the best Piat shot in the game with this amazing long range effort on Arras. And as Markworth pulled off a very nice clip, and this one was not your usual plane snipe, he manages to get it involved in a three man kill feed. Really awesome stuff. Incredibly accurate clips is what Fukushima is known for, and this one is a very, very nice clip indeed. In my opinion, his best clip that he's sent into the top place. Now it starts off quite nicely, gets himself a couple of kills, moves into a position as the enemies start to push him, as he's all on his own on this objective, but the last part of the clip is what really sets it apart for me, as he completely dominates the enemy team with incredible accuracy. One of my favourite vehicle clips was from Wadi5000, and the reason is because of the reaction. He gets himself a load of kills and just doesn't know what to say. Exactly what you want to be seeing in Battlefield. Sometimes it just leaves you speechless. I'm going to see if I can... Holy shit. Holy shit, how many kills... How many kills did I just get? How many points did you get? A lot of Max Eek has sent in a whole load of clips to the Battlefield top plays and Battlefield 5 has really been a game that he has managed to sink his teeth into and set out on the YouTube path getting himself a load of subscribers and a lot of dedicated fans. I'm one of those fans, I love this guy, he's got a great thing going and his skill on Battlefield 5 is fantastic. This is probably my favourite clip, although he has sent in a few that you may have preferred. This one for me was great though, just because of the amount of kills he racks up in such a short space of time on Aerodrome, making this range work for him with the Gewehr M95. Really nice accuracy, a great sniping clip. Oh, what am I doing? What was that, dude? Oh. Bro, that was... <laughs> what? What was that? What? <laughs> what the heck was that, dude? Another guy that sent in a lot of clips this year was Metal Slug. The reason I've included this one over some of the others is because it makes me laugh and sometimes Battlefield 5 is just there for that. It makes you laugh 
it's a bit of fun. This one was on one of the Blind Enemies episodes, as he manages to get himself into a position where the enemies, for some reason, cannot see him, and he gets a whole load of kills in the process. So Dialot pulled off one of the best sniping clips that we've had in the Battlefield top plays and also showed people that you can actually get up on the bridge using that fortification. This top plays episode got a lot of views and it was mainly down to this intro clip. Revolutions next up, getting himself a very very nice kill feed on the bridge on Rotterdam. I included this one because this is a very, very popular position for top players to be pulled off on, but not many people managed to rack up as many points as he did in such a short space of time. Savon managed to get himself a 10-man with the MP40 a couple of months ago. This was a clip that I love watching then, and I love watching now. Be objective, Rotterdam, 10 kills. One of the more recent clips in this episode, Tyrium sent in a great run on Devastation with the STG. As you can tell from the start of the clip, he gets a load of kills on enemies that really should know better. This was a great one. Thanks for sending it in. The anime genius got himself a really nice intro clip for a previous Battlefield top plays, racking up a load of kills with this MG42, leaning over the balcony on devastation of Rotterdam. Oh, fucking hell! Bubba Codeman pulled off a very nice clip on Twisted Steel on the bridge. He got himself in a great position with the MG42 on enemies that were trying to push onto Alpha Objective. As you can tell from the icon at the top, they're everywhere, and he makes use of this incredibly powerful weapon. To put them back to the spawn screen.
The Hupsuck sent in a clip a long time ago where he managed to pull off an incredible shot with the V1 rocket, getting himself a kill on an enemy plane. Enders sent in a load of clips to the Battlefield top plays, and I've included two of them that I really loved. The first one was only a five man, but probably the best five man I've seen on the game so far. The accuracy involved on players at all sorts of distances was amazing. The second one I've included was on Fjell 652, and he manages to get himself an incredible amount of kills with the Selbs Ladder on this Alpha objective. One of my favorite infantry clips my on the Battlefield top you. plays. Enjoy. He's been on the stream a couple times, you guys probably remember him. That guy is legitimately prone next to some fucking missiles, or whatever those are. Dude, honestly, fuck it. Aggressive Fox sent in a clip a couple of weeks ago that I did put at the beginning of a show, and you'll notice the red dot on the centre of the screen. This is a completely legal thing to do, even the dice devs have said. But some of you didn't like it. It's using a program called Reshade to put a red dot at the centre of your screen. Nonetheless, an incredible clip that I thought I'd show again. Shutdown CB sent in a great clip quite a few weeks ago. And I did post it, but it was at the end of a video, thinking that the guys that would get to the end would get to witness this amazing clip. But I'm going to show it again, because you may have missed it, and this is absolutely incredible. Getting a V1 bomb and a load of kills alongside that triple collateral. Oh, it's got a triple collateral! <laughs> oh... Tail Whip sent in this 8-man with the G95, worth including. What an epic flank. No, what the fuck? What the beast. What the beast. Swaggy Lee sent in quite a few clips over the past six months or so. This one is a really nice 16 kill streak on Rotterdam in just under 40 seconds. The Stormgewehr really proving to be a great weapon in these CQB engagements. What a fantastic clip. Kubik has sent in quite a few clips to the Battlefield 5 top plays, but this was probably my favourite, using the Craig Jorgensen, an aggressive push towards Bravo objective. Thanks for watching this special episode of the Battlefield 5 Top Plays. If you did enjoy, let me know in the comments below. You can check out the players channels in the description. I'll be looking to do another one of these in around six months time. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.